This is insane. This morning was insane. I just have to praise God. I'm like this. Well, it's mid-November and it's been super cold the past three days. Today, it's only 35 this morning, so the ice has been thawing. But we still got, as of last night, we still had ice holes. And I found one with a bunch of ducks on it. They were just pouring in like crazy last night. So I got class today. But, not till later. So I'm gonna go in this morning, and hopefully, my goal is to shoot five green heads, and maybe a red head or a pintail or something. There's quite a few ducks in there. Not much wind this morning. We're gonna have some challenges going in. So I've gotta cross a deep part of this marsh, which is ice covered, supposedly about two inches or so. Um, so I'm bringing in my kayak, my sled, and we're just gonna see if I can cross it. So this is what I'm pulling in this morning: my kayak and this sled. I'm also pulling in this frog spear. And the plan is for me to sit my kayak and use the tongs of the frog spear to dig into the ice, push myself across. So not sure it's gonna work. But that's the plan. This is some thick stuff, man. I ended up taking my sled off and pulling things in one at a time. My cameras have trouble focusing on the light, but I got about a 50 yard paddle, and I think most of it is deeper than my waders. But guys, I'm using this light. It's called the Elpro KL52. You can't see it in the dark, but it throws a super wide, bright beam and a super bright, narrow beam. So. Go check this flashlight out. It's a good flashlight. All right, well, I'm just about ready to go in across. Got about 15 yards of ice to go across. And then it's water. Don't try this at home. It's dangerous. But it's pretty fun at the same time. Channel's not too wide. And I've got two life vests on today. One, two. So I'm going to dive life vest suffocation before I dive drowning in here. So, I've got my frog spear ready to go. Throw these decoys in the sled. I'm gonna start pushing myself across. I'm gonna put this camera away because I don't really want to spoil it if I somehow go in. Well, I know it's unfortunate. You guys don't get to see me fall in. But I did make it across. I actually broke through the ice to get here. I didn't really slide on top of it. This is the first time this season I'm breaking out my flock decoys. The reason I'm using these uh, nicer decoys this morning is because there's going to be a light wind. It's supposed to be northwest this morning at like 6 to 7, so pretty much nothing. Mm. <laughs> it's got like 30 mallards in the decoys. Well, it's certainly not good. They're landing on the other side of the ice hole. My decoys are about 50 yards away. I 
really want to get groups today. And I'll probably regret not taking that Mallard Drake now. <laughs> Some of those are at three yards. There's too many dogs that I couldn't shoot into them. That was insane. That was, that was insane. Oh my gosh, that's, that was so cool. That was insane. That was insane. That was the in most insane thing that's like ever happened to me. Alright, I gotta put the camera on and start shooting, I think. <laughs> that is the most insane thing that's ever happened to me. Still don't have a duck. I had a drake single grip drake pintail laying, trying to land on my decoys, and I missed. This is just insane. There's just birds everywhere. Well, I finally took it upon myself to shoot one. One Drake Mallard down. I want him landed feet down. I'm picky today. I could have shot my limit in 10 minutes, but I don't want to. I want to finish him. I want to decoy them right in the pocket. Like this boy here. That mallet, shootable, 10 yards above my head. But I don't want him above my head. I want him right in the decoys. I'm up to three green heads now. And, uh, yeah, three green. The decoy like crazy. 
just can't even describe how insane this morning this morning's been I just can't even believe it it's just there's so many so many mallards so many teal landing in the decoys I'd kind of like to be done I've got three drakes <laughs> I wouldn't mind just being done here soon slowed down a little bit but that was just insane to see all that and it would have been cool to shoot when all those ducks came in but just to be there was I think better they all landed and they all left no big deal decoying some other birds so I'm just being super selective probably more selective than Carl would be Carl would probably get on me for how selective I'm being. You gotta get on me for missing that pintail earlier. That was stupid. Fourth Drake and fifth duck. Four Drake mallards and a gavel. I'm up to four Drake mallards. One gadwall. I went ahead and took my bonus duck. That way I could get out of here. I've seen other pintails today, but I missed my opportunity. I just I feel terrible about that. I hit him in the wing. I walked out to start getting him, and he got up. And he was just so close, I missed him twice. I should have just taken my time and shot. <laughs> Once he was 20 yards away. And I only had two shells left in my gun, you know. So I only had two shots, missed both those, and... He just floats away. Sucks. I really want to shoot a mallard drake though. Or a redhead. It's a nice drake. It's hard to tell. He is loving the decoy spread. Well, there he is. I waited and I got my five green heads. Man, today was the best 
mountain hunt of my life, I think. This was just, <laughs> this was insane. This morning was insane. Have all those ducks land in this hole. Oh man. I was just trying to be really selective and take my time. I really wish I would have got that pintail at the beginning. But you know, I shot five green heads and one gadwall. I can't think of a better hunt than this. The other good mallard hunt I'm thinking of was last year with Elliot and my friend Jack. But I think this one was better. I think uh, I could have done better. I think if I would have brought a jerk string, I think I would have done better. Decoyed more birds. I mean, I still decoyed and landed birds, but I think I just would have decoyed and landed more. Because, I mean, they were cupping in tight and they just a lot of them weren't finishing of course I mean you can't finish all of them I guess but you can try so I think if I would add some motion on the water that would have helped because like that one drake you guys saw me shoot I was in the decoys going to get that gadwall and he was gonna land and I think he just liked the motion on the water and I don't know thought I was a tree or something but I just have to praise God like this it's just I don't even know how to describe it it's good creation story in the Bible in Genesis God said what he made was good and that was giving glory to him and I just got to praise God for this hunt it was insane just seeing the birds land and not having to shoot. The sunrise, the sunrise, it was incredible. The fact that this, there's an ice hole right here and I could come out today, just praise God. You know, I gotta thank my dad for teaching me how to hunt when I was younger. And thanks to Elliot for teaching me how to duck hunt. I hope when you watch this video, Elliot, that you're proud of me, even though I missed that pintail. <laughs> but to me, this is this is the top. Sometimes you need to go and take a step back to see the truth. You can tell